My name is Benjamin Seibold. I'm an associate professor in mathematics in the College of Science and Technology here at Temple University. I work on traffic flow research, in particular traffic models, accurate models for human driving and their interaction with self-driving cars, autonomous vehicles. Traffic can develop stop and go waves. This phenomenon is called a phantom traffic jam, as there is no discernible cause of the traveling wave of brake lights. Simulations of driving models can demonstrate this. The collective driving dynamics have transitioned the flow from an initial uniform state to a less safe, less fuel efficient traffic wave state. However, traffic is about to change. Self-driving cars are about to enter our roadways, albeit initially in small numbers. The question is whether a few autonomous vehicles, if properly controlled, can dissipate and prevent traffic waves. To answer this question in simulation, we switch the blue car to autonomous mode. The single control vehicle can return the whole system to a uniform flow state, even though the human drivers have not changed anything about their own driving style. The idea behind the control is rather simple. The actual speed of the autonomous vehicle is either an ideal speed or a safe speed, whichever is lower. The ideal speed is the correct average flow velocity in the absence of waves. In the future, it could be commanded via connected infrastructure or via other connected vehicles. If safety does not permit that ideal speed, then a lower safe speed is assumed. The problem with simulations is that a model for human driving behavior is assumed and that model is likely not completely correct given that humans are humans. So the question whether a single self-driving car can prevent traffic waves must be answered via an actual experiment. A research team from the University of Illinois, the University of Arizona, Rutgers University and Temple University conducted this experiment. 22 human driven cars and one autonomy capable vehicle were placed on a circular road. Initially, when all vehicles are human controlled, we observe the phantom traffic jam phenomenon. A clear traffic wave has established that travels backwards along the road. Now the silver vehicle has been switched into autonomous mode, with an ideal speed equal to the average speed of traffic flow when waves were present. As a consequence, the control vehicle does not accelerate as rapidly as the other vehicles. However, it does not leave a large gap forever. It catches up to its lead vehicle once that is forced to brake. The waves have been significantly reduced. As a consequence, traffic flow becomes more efficient and the original ideal speed is too low. Therefore, the commanded ideal speed is slowly increased. Now traffic is flowing without any discernible waves. The average speed is 14% higher than when waves were present. We have further increased the commanded ideal speed. Now we overdid it. The self-driving car is catching up to its lead vehicle too rapidly and is forced to brake. This reintroduces waves. Hence, we reduce the ideal speed. The wave disappears again. In this experiment, all vehicles were equipped with sensors that recorded their precise driving state. The analysis shows that relative to the wave dominated state, the control with an optimal ideal speed yielded 70 times fewer strong braking events and the total fuel consumption was almost cut in half. Hence, traffic flow control via few autonomous vehicles is possible. Self-driving cars will be on the roads anyways, so why not use them for a greater good? The potential benefits are substantial.